Hey guys, 10 10 13. Early afternoon mail day. This lighting is any good? That looks better. Three packages in the mail last few days. First one from my buddy Scott, Jayhawk 1971. He had some cards he was showing that he pulled at the Nationals. And I was interested in one of them. He pulled from Athletes of the World. Messaged him. Never heard anything back. Figured he sold it, which is fine. And about a week later, in the mail, package from Scott. And the card I wanted was Mixed Martial Arts. Tim Sylvia was my favorite MMA fighter because he is from Ellsworth, Maine, and uh, we've been going on vacation up in Ellsworth, Maine for over 10 years, me and Susie, and the sub shop called Ellsworth Giant Sub has his autograph up there and picture of him because he's local and he goes to the same sub shop, so I started following his career and he was a beast, he used to kick some ass, and then his career went downhill fast and uh, started getting his ass whooped every match, but still like him and I never have an autograph of him so Tim Sylvia autograph thank you Scott and that is very cool of you just to send that my way perfectly willing to buy it off you but I guess that's not how you work huh <laughs> also well, I guess the envelopes aside I got a package from Adam J-I-L-O known him for a long time one of the first people I talked to when I joined YouTube Got some cards from him, which is pretty cool. He wanted to hand these to me at Nationals, but they didn't make it this year. But, uh, Javon Ringer, glossy rookie card. Jared Cook, glossy rookie card. Awesome. Jared Cook should be a beast this year. Take these out of the holders. This one's cool. I don't have this at all. This is from Goodwin Champions, Jake Locker. Let's see if I can get some little light on here. I got that Jake Locker. Also from 2011 Prestige. Jake Locker rookie card. Freaking cool. Hoping he wins at the starting job this year. Oh wow, I haven't seen this one either. 2011 Press Pass Jake Locker. Refractridge. That's awesome. Oh man, this last card is nice. Dude, this is your PC too. What are you doing? It's number 16 out of 30. Paint logo patch. Kenny freaking Brit. And if you know Adam, that's one of his PCs too because it's a Rutgers player. So Adam, I don't know what the heck you're doing sending me your PC, but that's going to look really nice in my Kenny Brit PC. Man, I beefed it up. That logo shield is pretty damn slick. And yay, Panini. It says Prime, and it is Prime. How about that? So, Adam, man, that's uncalled for. That was, like, out of the blue. And that Kenny Britt just blows me away, man. I don't, I don't know why you would send me your PC. You gotta let me know. Now I gotta find you something nice, because that's just really thoughtful. Last but not least... I've been poking up my Tony Stewart PC, and I was very happy to grab this one off of eBay. Three color from Press Pass Five Star. Yes, they had a five star product in racing. I don't know why Tops didn't give them issues with stealing the five star name, but 42 out of 50. There's three color there. There's silver glitter on the bottom, black and red. The man, Tony Stewart. It's out of 50. Really happy to get my first five star for my NASCAR PC. What up, Everett? What up, AF Cop Bobby? All for Fanatic Drew. That's all I have today. Mail's coming in. I actually got a tin of Press Pass Fanfare. No, it wasn't Fanfare. What did I get? Redline Racing. Redline. I was going to get Fanfare. They were out. I got Redline Racing, hoping for a good tin. I will 
video of that, me and Susie busting a pack each. Hopefully we hit another Stewart or something. So stay tuned for that video later today. And uh, randoms are up for the break on Wednesday. So any trades, let me know. Other than that, have a wonderful week.